In this video, we're going to load a profile image into our app using the Facebook Graph API. So API stands for Application Programming Interface, and it allows us to get data from and send data to places on the web. In this case, Facebook. We'll also add an information section to our card. So the first thing we need to do is nest an image component inside our view, and then pass an image link into its source property. And we can do that by creating a moustache sandwich and typing URI colon and then using inverted commas the link to our image. So I'm going to quickly go online and find an image. And then paste it into our source between the inverted commas and hit save. All right, looks like I've forgotten to import the image components. So our image isn't displaying and that's because we need to tell it how big it has to be. So we're going to use flex one to tell it to expand to fill the entire parent view component. Great, we've successfully loaded our image. There's a slight problem. It looks like we've lost those beautiful rounded corners we had. So to fix that, we're going to tell our parent view component to hide any content overflow by setting our overflow to hidden. Awesome. So this React Native image is great, but what we really wanted was a Facebook profile image. So we're going to use Facebook's Graph API to request Candace's Facebook profile picture by typing graph.facebook.com forward slash the profile ID, which you can copy from below this video forward slash picture, question mark, height equals 500. And we're gonna assign that to a constant variable called FB image. And then I'm going to replace the React Native image URI with the FB image constant we just made. And hit save. Great, we've successfully requested and loaded a profile image from Facebook. Now we're gonna add in a profile information section. So first we're going to create a container view and nest in two text components, one for name and age, and the other for a bio. So it looks like we need to create some space around the text components. So let's create a margin of 20 on the information view. Looks good. And we also want to adjust the font sizes of the nested text components. So let's set the name text component to 20 and the by to 15. And we're also going to change the font color of our bio component by typing color and assigning dark gray to it. Awesome. That's a good looking card. 